Yo, 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 what's happening, guys? Uh, here's some tips and tricks for the new talent tree system that just dropped for Dragonflight. I hope you guys like the video. All right, just give you a quick overview. If you don't already know what the class trees look like, uh, you get your uh, class tree over here on the left. It's going to be the same tree no matter what spec you are, whether in Frost and Holy Blood, or, and that works for every single class. And then you get your spec tree, so I have blood over here on this side. Um, you, you get uh, PvP talents down here, War Mode right here. You can quickly switch your other specializations just by clicking one of these icons. This is a new feature, which is super cool. Uh, you can search for missing talents, and we'll get into uh, that for more of the tips here soon. Share different builds, import different builds. We'll get into that too as well. It also gives you a brief overview of the uh, different specs. If you've never tried something, it'll tell you kind of what that is and it'll sample abilities, which is pretty cool. Uh, if you're leveling, if you didn't already know, basically get a uh, talent a talent point every time you level and it rotates back and forth. Is So if I'm level 60 and I get to level 61, I get a talent tree over here first and at 62, I get another one and I would get it over here and just back and forth until you're max level, which is pretty cool. All right, for the first uh, quick tip here, uh, the search the, the search feature is just amazing. Right now, it basically has this always scheduled. So if I'm missing anything for my action bar for my talent trees, like if I didn't have Tombstone or Abomination Limb, I'll use this for example. So I'm going to drag off, not use it. I'm going to use that here. And if I have this selected, missing from action bar, it'll have this little blue icon up here for me to drag it back to my bars. And once I do, it's gone, which is super cool. If you're ever looking for a certain talent, you know, you have a buddy or whatever telling you, oh, like, oh, you should spec into this. You're like, I don't know what the, where that is. Let's just say I want to try to find Rune Tap. I'm going to look at Rune Tap. I click on that and it shows me where the icon is, which is freaking amazing. Uh, next little tip or trick here is uh, you can change your talents or specialization anywhere, not just in rest area or you used to have to do with tomes. Uh, so like if you're in a raid or whatever and you, 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 you wanted to change your stuff, you had to go back, Hearthstone back and change your talents. You don't have to do that anymore. I can literally change the talent right right now. Obviously, I'm nowhere near an in. I can change my talents right now. I can also change my spec, which that isn't new, but you can change your spec immediately. Talents, all that. It's it, You can do it anywhere now, which is, is awesome. A couple cool features, uh, if you didn't already know too, is uh, you can share builds and you can also import builds. So let's just say I've got a build right here that I want to import. All you need to get to do is you're gonna, are you gonna want to go down here to um, uh, to this little selector here, import, and you can just copy paste the code, new loadout name. Uh, I don't know, Matt. You know, let's do Madman. Oh my gosh, game and type import. So I'm gonna do this. It's gonna change all my talents, and everything like that. Uh, super easy to do. And then if I wanted to go back, I could just go back and select Mythic Plus, and it would change my talents back to what it is, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can save. Uh, these preset builds, you can save them, you can delete them. So loadout settings, I could delete. I'm, oh no, I'm done with that one. I don't want to use it. It's dog crap. It's it's crap. Whatever. Loadout. You can also use shared action bars. So you share the same action bars with the both specs, or you can separate them. This is a really cool feature. Uh, I think they changed this recently, which is it's an amazing change to be honest. Uh, second thing is you can also share builds. So if I just I really like this build I'm using, my buddy wants to try out Blood Death Knight tanking for Mythic Plus, I can share this copy of Quick clipboard and i could share it on you know youtube video discord send it to him whatever chat or whatever i wanted to and then he could import that build to his blood death knight the same way i did uh and you can re rename to this stuff to whatever so uh it's a pretty amazing feature one of the best features especially for new players or people that feel overwhelmed or you're trying a new spec so many people are re-scrolling the specs or classes they've never played and i love this feature so if you go in here to spec let's just say i'm loading on my death knight for the first time and I'm like oh my gosh i don't know what to use i don't know what talents to use i don't know where to go i would recommend checking out wowhead or ic veins they have great talent builds for most of your content but if you just didn't want to do that you just want to get into it right now i have a couple friends coming into the game for the first time right here you go down here to the select whichever build it gives you a starter build so if i want to start with this build um, from what I've realized for these starter builds um, and what I've tested, it works pretty well too for most classes and a majority of content. So uh, you can definitely do this starter build if you're just trying to learn a class, see if you like it, see if you enjoy it. Uh, and this is for every spec, uh, you know, every 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 class, everything. So these these starter builds are, are really good. Try them out if you're new or you just feel overwhelmed and you can't decide what talents do what. Last couple things here, I got two add-ons I'd recommend for the new talent tree, which are just freaking awesome to be honest. Uh, one is talent tree tweaks. Uh, you can export other people's builds from inspecting them. Uh, so, like, if you had someone smacking the crap out of you in a dungeon, in an M, uh, like M plus, uh, like an M plus dungeon or raid, and you want to see what talents they're rocking, you can inspect them and then import their talents to try them out in the raid. So let's just use the DK for example. If I want to go to him, I inspect him. I click his talents here, and then I can go to uh, export here down below. Control C to copy. Really like those talents, right? I could go back to my talent tree. And then I can import those in here. 
uh, and you know, and then I could import and it would save those towns. Obviously, that's unholy, so I can switch it on holy spec. But you could do that. So, I mean, super cool add-on, talent tree tweaks. Try it out. Next add-on is talent tree viewer. Uh, lets you look at every class spec talent tree in the game, even if you're not playing them, and you're able to share builds with others using it. So basically, uh, talent viewer. So I have it. I already have it downloaded. And uh, by the way. I'll post these both these add-ons down in the description below for Curse Forge that you can download them. So if I wanted to, I would go over to your spec. I click Talent Viewer. I go to ta or Talent Viewer. Then I can pick down here, select another specialization. So if I want to see a warrior, and I want to look at Arms Warrior to see what talents they have. I could. I could build a tree. I could take away a, 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 like restrictions so I could play with whatever build I wanted to. I could import a build if someone was trying to share something with me or export one if I want to share it online. This is a fantastic tool to do if you're a content creator. I know I'll be using it. Uh, you can search feature. I mean, this this one's just it's it's so good mage frost i can see all their talents I, again i can import export whatever ignore restrictions not ignore restrictions it's it's fantastic y'all thank you so much for watching guys hope this video helped you out hope you're excited for dragonflight like i am it's gonna be fans i mean it's gonna be such a good expansion i, I can feel it uh, if you like the video like the video and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out all the content we're gonna be pumping out for dragonflight i thank you guys so much peace